But I want to sincerely thank you for being here. As I just mentioned, there's so many other places to be right now during the holidays. And you know, there's some people here that have really made some great sacrifices to get here. Uh, Bev is actually coming from LA. Bev, thank you so much. Corey's here from Dallas, Texas. We actually have, uh, this is very rare, a father and son team here today. Peter and Zach are here from uh, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. We want to thank you for driving in. I know the Dons came from upstate of New England. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is that right? The Canadian border. The Canadian border. The Canadian border. And uh, throughout this meeting, we're actually going to bring out the, the, uh, the bad Don to do a comic show for about 20 or 30 minutes. If you haven't had the opportunity to meet him, he's just a fantastic guy. But uh, I know you're here to learn a little bit about the company, the product, the compensation plan, and, and to hear a little bit about me. So I want to start off this meeting talking about my background. And uh, I started 20 plus years ago, actually uh, in network marketing as a employee of a network marketing firm. And it was a great experience for me. And the reason why is because I actually learned how to bring products from an international market to the United States, how to ship those out, all the processes that it actually takes to make that actually happen. Learned about customer service, learned about actually how to treat distributors, which we all know is so vitally important. And a business partner and I actually started, after that, started to uh, sell products to network marketing companies. Anybody remember a travel company? Yeah. yeah. Travel company, yeah, 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 all the hands go up traveling. We used to actually sell travel certs to those companies. In fact, uh, we actually also sold satellite certificates to those companies. In fact, we also sold cell phones to those companies. And uh, that actually brought me to the cell phone industry. And we had nationwide contracts with Sprint and other carriers, but uh, cell phone industry. Uh, is really where I started learning about point of sale data. And if you've never owned your own store before, you probably really hear this all the time on our webinars and on our, our conference calls, and you're like, what is that point of sale data? Well, one of the things that we actually did, and I'll tell you about my stores real quick, we had uh, dozens of stores all throughout the Southeast, five different states. We are on military Air Force bases. We were actually on uh, uh, flea markets, and we were in, in malls all across Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, North Carolina. And uh, I remember looking at this point of sale data, and it was so vital for our organization to really be studying this. And, the, and I'm going to give you just one example. Uh, we had a, a customer come in, and uh, they would buy a, a cell phone, right? And they would buy a little belt clip for the, their phone, and, right? And then the next customer would actually come in, and he would buy a, a hands-free, right? And I'm sitting there on a, on a manager meeting on Friday morning, conference call with all my managers across the, the states, and I'd say, hey, guys, why is it that one person buys a belt clip and another person buys a hands-free set? How come nobody's selling any car chargers to these people? I mean, they're going to need the car charger. It just doesn't make any sense to me, right? So one of my managers actually said, well, John, why don't you just package the whole thing? And I went, say that again, right? What are, you, what are you talking about? Because some of the greatest ideas I've ever heard actually come from you. There's no question about it. And, and come from the people that have worked for me. I said, talk to me a little bit more about that. What's that actually look like? And they said, well, how about we do something like $49.95 and we put together a belt clip, hands-free, leather case, and car charger all in one package. And I went, oh my gosh. Now, you, if you go to Walmart now, you go to AT&T, you go to any of these stores you know, across the United States, it's already packaged for you now. I'm talking before. I'm talking when, when a cell phone phone call was 40 cents a minute. Okay, and, and we were actually making 20% of every phone call. I mean, it was a very, very profitable business. So anyways, getting back to this point of sale, I said, you know what, <clears throat> let's do this. Let's package this up, and we actually took it to two of our locations, and you know what? It worked. It worked really, really well. 
In fact, it worked so well, we actually implemented that throughout all of our cell phone locations. And it was a profit source <clears throat> for us that just took our company's net profit to a new level. It's very, very exciting for us. We actually even brought in, how about this one, network marketing products and sold them on a retail basis, okay? Into our store locations. So, Doc, no. yes. you have a cell phone. You showed it to me last night. When you went into the store, what did they ask you for? They asked you for a name and ID. They asked for all kinds of information. Yeah. What you're referring to? Yeah. Yeah. Name, address, you name. Name, address, phone number, social security number, date of birth, right? All this point of sale data, right? And so Excel Telecommunications, if you guys remember Excel Telecommunications, actually brought in a home phone service, and that home phone service provided for $49 all your amenities for the home phone and it provided free long distance. Well back then, what was the number one thing that people did and didn't want to do with their cell phone? You may not remember, but maybe you do, and that is to go over your minutes, right? Because when you went over here, everyone was like, oh God, I got that $1,500 bill. I know exactly what it was, right? And so what we ended up doing is that when we, when we come in, you're gonna buy your phone, you got your $49 package, and oh, by the way, so if you don't go over your minutes, Don, right? We're gonna offer you a $49 home phone service, first time ever, right? And we're gonna offer you free long distance, so your nights and evening minutes, you don't have to use. You can just start using them with your home phone. And you know what? It worked. I mean, it worked really, really well. And it was amazing to see that just in one or two locations, we had about 123 people sign up within the first couple of days for it. And we went, oh my gosh. So what do you do? You spread it across the United States, right? And it worked. It was very, very successful for us. Um, on the personal side of me, I'm married 15 years, <clears throat> successfully, uh, two kids, <laughs> 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 <Take your hands. laughs> one wife, only one. Uh, and uh, I have two kids. Uh, they're very precious to me, as you can see. My smile, I love my kids. Uh, one's five, one's ten. Uh, in fact, when I was leaving just a couple days ago, uh, my daughter's five. She wanted to uh, pick out my ties, right? And uh, she says, well, okay. I said, well, that one matches really good, but, you know, this other one, uh, Aaliyah, this really doesn't match this outfit. And she looks at me. I'm so wrapped around her finger, it's pathetic, okay? Uh, she looks at me and she goes, Dad, you can't go wrong with Mickey. <laughs> so you know what? I'm wearing Mickey. I'm wearing Mickey. <laughs> so uh, uh, my father, uh, we came from a family of six kids. We were the Brady Bunch, for those of you who remember the Brady Bunch, right? We were three boys, three girls. I'm Bobby, the youngest. But my dad was actually a World War II vet. In fact, I was just telling Peter about this. And uh, he taught me some great things about life and business. He was an amazing business man amazing I mean he would give me these golden nuggets of wisdom that you can live with for the rest of your life and live by for the rest of your life and he would sit me down and he would grab my face right? <laughs> and he say John you want to know what the greatest gift of life is now I'm in my teenage years right and I'm a typical teen and so what do you say is a typical teen dad when you give me money yeah. <laughs> That's the greatest gift of life. And he, he oh, shake his head like, oh my gosh, you're never going to get this. And he would look at me and he'd say, no, John, the greatest gift of life is the gift of giving. Right? And he goes, and if you ever lead an organization, you've got to be the first one standing. Right? So today, <clears throat> I'm the first one standing. And the reason why is that I want to take the God-given abilities and talents that I have and then invest them into you and this business because I understand that the greatest gift of life is the gift of giving. Now, he also taught me about teamwork. And he mastered it. I mean, he mastered it. And if you think, well, we'll go to football. We were talking about football earlier last night. We were talking about it today. And if you think about great teams, 
say the uh, San Francisco 49ers, okay? Great team, and you think of, uh, let's see, Joe Montana, right? Okay? Fantastic, right? No question about it. You think of uh, basketball, uh, Chicago Bulls, who would you think of? Michael? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, you're exactly right. Well, let's say you actually had the opportunity, Peter, if you have your son, Zach, right? Okay? And uh, Zach wanted to play football, and you had the opportunity to pick up the phone and call Joe and say, Joe, my son wants to play quarterback. Would you like to have him be a student? And could you actually teach him how to be that quarterback that he needs to be? Do you think that with some lessons from Joe, his accuracy would increase a little bit? Right? <laughs> Or for that matter, if, if it's a daughter, your daughter, and she wants to shoot baskets, and she had an opportunity to pick up the phone and call Michael Jordan and say, hey, Mike, I'm wondering if you would teach my daughter from Sunday through Thursday how to shoot baskets, how well would she actually improve in a short period of time, okay? Well, I want to share with you today that we have some Hall of Fame businessmen and women here. And I want to ask you this question. Would your business grow exponentially if you had the opportunity to learn, listen, or even have them do presentations for you Sunday through Thursday? Would your business grow exponentially? Yeah, I mean, there's no question about it, right? In fact, I can actually prove it as I look at the numbers and the amazing, amazing part about this is that this company is 30 days, maybe six weeks old, but within the last 30 days, this is in momentum. And Sue mentioned it best last night at dinner. We're in momentum even through the greatest holiday, one of the greatest holidays for travel there is, and that is? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, you're absolutely right. So we've maintained momentum all the way through that. Well, why does that actually take place? Think about that. It's leadership. Companies grow, fail, and succeed on leadership. And so I want to introduce you briefly, because they're going to be speaking later, to two Hall of Fame businessmen. E.J. Dalius, could you come up here just for a second? understand that these men, these men understand the greatest gift of life is the gift of giving. This is what they're all about. They've already traveled through these holiday seasons to Pennsylvania, New York, Dallas. Am I forgetting any places? New York, Dallas. We're getting ready to go to uh, Florida. Florida tomorrow or Puerto Monday? Rico. Puerto Rico yeah. on Monday, yeah. right? Yep. Now, I've known Steve for about a year, year and a half, right? Has he done a phenomenal job on our webinars? Absolutely. I've known this man for 20 plus years, right? And I also want to share with you that not only is he a Hall of Fame businessman, but he is a Hall of Fame father, and he is a Hall of Fame husband. He's an excellent man. And I know you did not expect me to say that. <laughs> and I know I didn't tell you guys I'm going to call you up, but I... As you, everyone knows, Steve, you guys know his title, right? Right? Everyone knows, right? And you know, EJ is our lead consultant, right? Marketing director. Guys, I want to thank you so much. Sincerely, thank you. I want to turn it over now to a man that I met yesterday. <laughs> and, you know, I've had lunch. I've had dinner with these gentlemen, and you know what impresses me the most is the heart, is the heart. Because we went around the room and we were talking last night and yesterday about Savia, what excites you and so forth. And these are gentlemen that are talking about, well, <coughs> it's simple, yeah. but it's simple for everybody. It's simple for those who actually have tons of experience. It's simple for those who are just looking at it 
their business life or their business career for the very first time. Right? They love helping people. They understand, again, that greatest gift of life is the gift of giving. Right? And that, that is the heartbeat of Sabia. I want to introduce Don. The good Don, as we call him. The good Don. Same here.